contingent contracts what do we mean by contingent contract and what are the different implications when it comes to indian contract what do we mean by contingent contract contingent contract is nothing but a contract which is contingent upon something contingent means it may happen or it may not happen so section 31 defines a contingent contract is a contract to do or not to do something that means whether to do or not to do there is an option on what the option is dependent on something which event is contingent if that event happens you may have to do or you may not have to do or if it doesn't happen the otherwise right so a contingent contract is a contract to do or not to do something if some event collateral to such contract does or does not happen so an event which is contingent that means it can happen or it cannot happen that is a contingent event and a contract which is dependent on such contingent event but again it should be collateral that is very important if it is not collateral it will automatically become something related to wagering agreement so that is what we are not referring to we are referring to contingent contract so it should be collateral to that event which may or may not happen right that is what contingent contract is so once again section 31 says a contingent contract is a contract to do or not to do something if some event collateral to such contract does or does not happen. let's just understand now what do we mean by collateral event that we mentioned so an event which is neither a performance directly promised as part of the contract nor the whole of the consideration for a promise so it should not be something that you are supposed to do as part of the contract collateral means it should be related it should neither be the consideration nor should be the actual promise what i'm promising to do it should not be that event or like if somebody else is doing it can be collateral it can be related to it but if i am supposed to do that event it does not become collateral or it cannot be even the consideration so it will be clear once we look into other considerations other aspects of uh, contingent contract or contingent contract features of contingent contract there should be a contract to do or not to do something if some event does or does not happen yes this we already understood event should be collateral to such contract that is also what we understood the contingent event should not be the mere will of the promise or it should not be like this is what i want to do this is what this contingent contract this contingent event this collateral event it should have some significance it should not be will of somebody right that is what we are trying to say if it is my will and if i'm promising to do then I, i control the entire event it should not be at my hands i should not be controlling it that is what the third point trying to say yes what are the different rules regarding performance of contingent contract when we are saying performance what do we mean what are the different things that you know what are the different rules that govern the performance of a contingent contract under section 32 first it says the happening of a future uncertain event if a contract is dependent upon happening of future uncertain event and if the event becomes impossible the contract cannot be enforced and becomes void so we are talking about it is dependent upon some future event which is uncertain so if that event like maybe for now it may be certain that is why it is a contract if it was uncertain from the very beginning that mean, that means it is an impossible contract it is an impossible promise so that stands void from the very beginning itself but if it was certain but uh, like the event was possible the uncertain event we are talking about that was possible but if it becomes impossible at a later date then the contract automatically becomes void there is an example a contract a contracts to pay b a sum of money when b marries c c dies without being married to b the contract becomes automatically null and void there is nothing to be you know discussed into it right that is what it is non happening of an event an event which was supposed to happen but it does not happen section 33 says contracts contingent upon the non happening of a certain future event can be enforced when the happening of that event becomes impossible and not before right when we are saying see the first provision says about happening of a such an event right if the event happens then the contract is valid uh, just a second let me go back okay yeah uh, what happened i am not okay so the first point the first provision was trying to say it is dependent upon happening of some event so if that event becomes impossible the contract cannot be enforced but the second point says the same event 
if it doesn't happen the contract is dependent upon non happening of the event so contract can be enforced only when that event becomes impossible that it cannot happen for example a agrees to pay b a sum of money if a certain ship does not return the ship is sunk what is going to happen now we contracted that i will pay you some money if the ship the ship doesn't come and the ship has been sunk already now is there any possibility of that ship coming back no the contract can be enforced when the ship sinks that is what we right next it says if a contract is contingent uh, just a second yeah if a contract is contingent upon as to how a person will act at an unspecified time the event shall be considered to become impossible when that person does anything which renders it impossible that he should so act within any definite time or otherwise than under further contingencies section 34 says so what does it mean let's just try to break it down the entire point first it says if a contract is contingent upon upon what it is contingent as to how a person will act at an unspecified time right how a person will act that is what we are contingent upon the event shall be considered to become impossible when such person does anything okay what we are trying to say the person is supposed to do something the person is supposed to act on something right but the time is not mentioned the unspecified time we are talking about but that person does something what does it does anything which renders it impossible that he should so act within any definite time so if the person was supposed to do something and now when he does something which he cannot do now right then automatically that contract becomes what for until further uh, so act within any definite time or otherwise then under further contingencies so it means that if somebody who was supposed to do something now it's certain like because of certain act he cannot do now then automatically it depends upon those contingencies that is what this point is trying to next section 35 says contracts contingent upon the happening of an uncertain specified event within a fixed time become void if at the expiration of that fixed time such event has not happened or if before the time fixed such event becomes impossible again the same thing we are trying to reiterate nothing so it is contracts contingent upon the non happening of a specified event within a fixed time may be enforced by law when the time fixed has expired and such event has not happened or before that it's expired if it event certain that such event will not happen again uncertainty non happening if we are saying that it should happen within a time and the time has passed and it hasn't happened that is something we are contingent upon the same thing not something next it is contingent agreement to do or not to do anything if an impossible event happens or what something we are promising to do something based on impossible whether the impossibility of the event is known or not to the parties to the agreement at the time when it is made it doesn't matter if there is you know it is known or not if it is impossible then automatically the event is impossible that means it does, it is not going to happen so the it is of course the non happening so only one side is there it is not contingent contingent contract means there are both the possibilities it can or it cannot happen none of the parties having any control on it but if it is impossible that means only one side will happen it is not going to happen it is not happening so if it is only one side then we cannot call it as contingent contract right that means it is void for example a agrees to pay b rupees 1000 if two parallel straight lines should enclose a space are they going to do no that means the agreement is void here we are using the word agreement if you if you are just looking into it because we are talking about something now there is a difference between contingent contract and wagering agreement what is a wagering agreement a wagering agreement consists of reciprocal promises while a contingent contract may not consist of reciproc reciprocal promises that is there one promise the other promise contingent contract is something different a wagering agreement is of a contingent nature while a contingent contract may not be of a wagering nature yes wagering can be contingent but contingent is something different a wagering agreement is void while a contingent contract is valid in a wagering agreement parties have no other interest in the subject matter ex except for winning or losing of wagering amount while it is not as in contingent contract that is something that makes it different totally in a wagering agreement the nature 
sorry in a wagering agreement the future event is the sole determining factor while in contingent contract future event is only collateral so it is just if future event happens i will pay you if it doesn't happen i will not pay you that is a wagering agreement but if it happens you have to perform the contract that is something we have to go for this thing that is what means makes uh, it a contingent this is nothing but what we can call it as contingent contracts